the business case for diversity, enhancing performance and innovation. Welcome to another episode of What's In It For Me. I'm Ali, and today we're diving into the undeniable business case for diversity, equity, inclusion, and access. Let's start with a fundamental truth. Diverse teams don't just feel better, they perform better. This isn't just an opinion. It's backed by a growing body of research. Companies that embrace diversity are not only doing the right thing socially, they are also making a smart business decision. Organisations increasingly recognising that a diverse and inclusive workforce is not just an ethical imperative, but a business necessity. We will delve into how embracing diversity and inclusion can significantly enhance organisational performance and spur innovation. The diversity advantage. Diverse teams bring a range of skills, experiences and perspectives. This multiplicity fosters creativity as people from different backgrounds approach problems and challenges uniquely leading to innovative solutions. Research shows that diverse groups are better at problem solving than homogenous ones. Diversity introduces a variety of viewpoints and heuristics, leading to more thorough and creative problem analysis. Diversity promotes richer, more informed decision making. Teams comprising varied backgrounds can assess a wider range of factors and potential impacts, resulting in more balanced and comprehensive decisions. The key to unlocking potential. An inclusive environment ensures that all employees feel valued and empowered. Such a culture not only attracts top talent, but also retains them by fostering a sense of belonging and engagement. Inclusive workplaces enable employees to contribute their best work. When people feel their voices are heard and valued, they are more likely to contribute their full intellectual and creative capacities. Diversity in action. Many leading tech companies have credited their breakthrough innovations to diverse teams. For example, a multinational tech giant attributes its successful foray into new markets to its culturally diverse product development teams. In the financial sector, diversity has been linked to better risk management and more sustainable growth. Firms with diverse leadership have shown greater resilience and adaptability in volatile markets. Because diversity in teams brings together varied perspectives, experiences and problem solving approaches. This diversity fosters innovation and creativity. Studies have shown that companies in the top quartile for racial and ethnic diversity are 35% more likely to have financial returns above their industry mean. But it's not just about racial and ethnic diversity. Companies with a good mix of gender diversity are also more likely to outperform their peers. A diverse workplace can better understand and cater to a diverse customer base, leading to better customer insights and improved satisfaction. Now let's look at a real world example. Alpha Healthcare, a leader in biomedical research, leveraged diversity to drive innovation. They assembled a diverse team with different nationalities and academic disciplines. This diversity proved crucial in developing a new diagnostic tool that combined unique approaches from different scientific fields. Alpha Healthcare's success story demonstrates how embracing diversity can lead to groundbreaking innovations, setting a company apart in the market. Beyond innovation, diversity can also enhance decision making. Diverse teams are better equipped to challenge assumptions and prevent groupthink, leading to more effective decision making processes. But what does this mean for you and your organisation? It means that by fostering a diverse and inclusive environment, you're not just doing good, you're doing well, you're setting up your team and your organization for greater success, both creatively and financially. So here's your call to action. Reflect on how your organization approaches DII. Does it view it as just a moral imperative or as a critical component of business success? Start a dialogue with your colleagues or leadership about strengthening diversity initiatives, not just as a social responsibility, but as a key element of your business strategy. Thank you for tuning in too. What is in it for me? In our next episode, we will explore how diversity contributes to personal growth and the development of empathy and leadership skills. This is Ailey, and I look forward to continuing this journey with you.